Hello students, welcome back. Today we'll be looking at biological molecules, starting with organic molecules. All organic molecules contain carbon and hydrogen atoms with other atoms. Four main groups of organic chemicals used by living things include carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acid. Carbohydrates and lipids, um, they have chemical elements that make up that make them up, and these include carb carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. In protein, we find nitrogen in addition to carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen, and sometimes we find sulfur in protein. Carbohydrates, um, monosaccharides are the simplest forms of carbohydrates. Glucose, for example, is, so, is a, a soluble form of carbohydrates and is easily transported, transported in blood. Polysaccharides are formed from many monosaccharide molecules, e.g. glycogen, starch, and cellulose. Lipids are formed by the condensation of three molecules of fatty acid with one molecule of glycerol. Proteins are made up of long chains of subunits called amino acids and some proteins are thousands of amino acid long. Testing for biochemicals. There are different types of tests. I have about five listed here. Test for lipids, which is, which is the emulsion test. Test for protein, which is the burette test. Test for starch, iodine solution test. Test for glucose, Benedict solution test for reducing sugars. And then we have the test for vitamin C using DCPIP. To carry out the test for lipids, we have 2 cm cube of ethanol, which is added to an unknown solution. The mixture is poured into a test tube containing equal volume of distilled water. Milky white emulsion is formed if lipid is present. Test for protein. Few drops of burette reagent is added to 2 cm cubes of an unknown solution. The mixture is shaken and a mauve or purple color indicates that protein is present. Test for starch. The test for starch, a um, few drops of iodine solution are added to two centimeter cubes of unknown solution. A deep blue black color indicates a positive result, and this indicates that starch is present. To test for glucose, Benedict solution test of reducing sugars is added to two centimeter cube of the unknown solution, and the mixture is heated in a boiling water bath for two to three minutes. An orange or brick red color is a positive result, and that shows that glucose is present. Vitamin C takes the color out of blue dye color. So an illustration is shown here. This is vitamin C before the CPIP is added. When you say when the CPIP removes the blue color takes the blue dye color out of the blue dye color dna structure dna bases pair up with each other a with t and c with g to form units called base pairs each base is also attached to a sugar molecule and a phosphate molecule a base sugar and phosphates together are called a nucleotide. Nucleotides are arranged in two long strands that form a spiral called double helix. And bonds between pairs of bases hold strands together. In which molecule are cross links formed between bases, that would be DNA, correct. Which element is found in proteins but not carbohydrates? Nitrogen. What are the products when protein are broken down? Amino acids, correct. So here we have a table showing us um, the color of the food test reagent at the start. 
uh, food, uh, the heat, um, heat required, and then final color of the food test reagent. So this table is, um, on the second row, we have, of this table, we have that the presence of vitamin C is positive in the sense that at the beginning, the color of the food test reagent is blue and there is no heat required. By the addition of DCIP, DCPIP, the reagent turns colorless and it indicates that vitamin C is present. With this, we come to the end of another episode of our class. Remember to join us for more series. Check us out on www.edubay.com for more materials and resources. Thank you.